Hi, it's Bruce here from The Part-Time Prospector. I wanted to show you guys a quick video on how to use the Mines Department's free GeoView application to find gold lo uh, prospecting locations that are going to significantly increase your chances of finding gold. So let's jump across to the desktop and crank up Chrome and show you what to do. Here I have got Chrome open at the moment. I'll type in GeoView WA press enter. Top one of Google results is the dmp.wa.gov.au website, GeoViewWA, which is the one we want. Click on that one. And then we will click on Access GeoViewWA. Now it may ask you to register if you've never been here before or log in if you haven't come here for quite some time. But I've already logged in so it knows who I am. Okay, so I'm interested in an area around Coolgardie, just for the sake of this um, demonstration. But the way that, so we got a map obviously showing uh, all of WA. And down the, down the side here, we've got a list of layers that we can turn on. Think of it as like layers of different data sets that we can pile on top of each other to get a good idea of what's happening. So the first thing, let's turn off everything. And we will just go for the geology one. Let's just turn off this geology one and we will zoom in to the Kulgadi area. Now, the easiest way to do this, I'll find, is to hold down the shift key on your keyboard and the left mouse buttons at the same time. As long as you hold the shift key first, then the left mouse button and keeping them pressed, drag the mouse button, drag the mouse to uh, in a diagonal pattern and a rectangle will show. Then simply let go of both and the map will snap, not snap, but equal zoom in to, to best fit that size uh, rectangle that was drawn. So now that we're here, let's see where the gold has been found in the past and recorded. So let's go to minerals at the top, turn that on. We'll go to mineralization sites, turn that on and turn on gold. And you can see the yellows popped up. Now these are all gold locations or sites that gold has been recorded at sometime in the past. So one thing you will notice here is that the gold appears to occur along lines, basically for want of a better word, that are basically trend northwest, southeast. Same as the one through uh, Southern Cross, ones through Kulgadi. Um, you can see the similar trends across the countryside. Keep that in mind when looking at um, the mineralization in the area that you're interested in. So there's a big cluster around here, but of course we can't go every, anywhere we want. We're only allowed to go on the appropriate ground that we have permissions. Now I'm making the base assumption, guys, that you actually have a miner's right and you have a valid one. So one of the things we need to turn on, and we can collapse this tree away, is turn on the tenements. So let's turn on the larva and pending. Okay, it thinks about it for a bit. And, says, and it's turned on all these blue and green polygons. The blue is the pending ground where we're allowed to go, and the green is the live ground. Live means don't go anywhere near it, somewhere else's ground, they're doing something important with it, stay away from it. You're allowed to go on the blue. But so let's look at the background in Kilgardi. There's this nice cluster of, of um, yellow dots, and I can see blue sneaking through the green. So I'm going to zoom down again a bit more around Kulgadi to see a bit more detail. So again, shift, left mouse button, drag to fit the area, let go, and I get more of a detailed view. And I can see there's a pending ground here, some pending ground around here, and some pending ground out here. Now this, look, this looks interesting. So we will actually go and actually have a bit of a squiz there. And this is all green, so we can't go there. But this looks like some interesting ground out here. Now, we'll zoom in a bit more over here. And we can see there's a couple of yellow dots out here. So this is looking promising. So what we'll actually do is also, one of the other data sets that we can turn on, as if we go to, where is it now? Um, so I think it's on the geology. 
Uh, no, not geology. Where is it? Uh, I'm looking for the abandoned mines. Uh, minerals, abandoned mines, inventory. Let's just turn that on. Okay, so this has got a slightly different data set. Again, you can see the trend of these mines in the same northwest, south, southeast direction, and they go right across the road. So, in this blue area, we can see um, an interesting looking trend running down here. So, as we zoom in a bit more, let's have a zoom in on this bit here. So, there's a cluster of workings up there, cluster down here, cluster here. Some slightly different colors inside here. So, what we can do is, well, was this, there's a, I noticed this to the south. I know this is on live ground, but we can still zoom in and actually have a look. And there's a whole bunch of different colored dots. So, if we click on a dot, say for example, this light bluish color one. It pops up with some information saying abandoned mines and view additional details. If I click this, the information appears down the, the side. Gives us the coordinates of where it is. Gives us the MGA coordinates and says it is, uh, where is it? Shallow workings. Okay, so that's the light blue. Dark blue says it's an open cut, which could mean anything, really any big hole. Um, it is saying it's 17 meters long, one meter wide, um, depth up to two meters. Okay, then we've got the the orange, and that is a collapse shaft, and then we've got the red, and that is an underground mine. So okay, so keeping that in mind, let's go back up here. So we've got some shallow workings, it looks like it, because the light blue, extending along here. So that looks promising. So where else can we look? Uh, we've got, there's something happening in here. Some darker blue, that's I think is the open cut, if I remember right, yep. That's the open cut. Um, and we will can zoom out a bit more. And we'll have a look down. So you can see there's a definite trend there, definite trend there, definite collection of workings there. And you get different colors down here. So it goes right across the road. And these are some more open cut workings. Now, this may look like a promising area to go and visit. But one thing we need to check first is that, is it still ground that we can metal detect on? And basically what I'm saying is that someone hasn't stripped the top off and put an open cut on it. So what we want to do is close up some of these, these um, tree items and go and turn out the, air, the Landgate aerial imagery. So this will load the air photo data. And we can see now, this is looking much better, that this is not bad at all. I'm actually going to turn off the tenement data, which is this striated data, because we know where we are. That's better. And you can see there's a series of workings along here, series of workings down here, and they lead into a creek. Now, what I would do is obviously test along here, what around here, and some of these things may have been leaching into the creek over the years. Looks like some old workings down here as well that may not have been mapped. And some more workings over here. You see the same trending countryside. And this is the interesting thing to me, is there is a creek running in this direction. This direction is the same as the gold bearing loads in the area. So there could be something in this area. It's definitely worth a visit. So what I would suggest doing, choose particular points, a representative point in each one, the selections, type in the latitude, longitude, put them into your GPS, and the next time you're out there, go and have a look. It's well worth checking out. But let's use the same ground as well for a slightly different thing. So I'm going to um, close that one up. And I'm going to check the minerals off for the moment. And I'm going to turn on drill holes. Min Mineral exploration drill holes open file. Okay, so this is drilling that's been done across the countryside. 
Now, there's generally more holes than there is reported on this map, but you know, these are the ones that the Mines Department got access to. So what you can see is, over the years, geologists have interpreted as some sort of gold-bearing structure running through here. And it, because, how do we know? Because they've dr put lines of drill holes across it, looking for zones of mineralization. One of the things that we're going to look at is because it's expensive to drill a hole, they will drill the holes generally, as you can see, quite far apart, maybe a good couple of hundred meters apart. And if they come, they find something of value, they'll come back and try and infill and drill around that particular point, look for more um, validation of a decent intersection. Something has happened here. So let's have a zoom in. So you see how this was the pattern of drilling across the countryside here. And they came back and gave it another go through here, hoping to find something. Now, there's not a lot of infill, but it shows that somewhere in there, something significant was intersected. The reason it hasn't turned into a mine or done more is it was probably they walked away from it thinking there wasn't enough tons to put a gold mine there. Now, how many tons do you need to make a commercial gold mine for a gold mining company well it generally comes down to the number of contained ounces in the ground but most of the time they're not going to look for anything less than about 50,000 ounces okay 100,000 ounces we're now looking at something worth more so if they found something that had 300 ounces they're basically going to walk away from it but for a prospector like yourself and myself 300 ounces is bonanza ground so let's have a look a bit further so they've done this regions across here but what I wanted to really point out was this area down here you can see they that a whole bunch of holes and then I'm just going to turn off this Langer imagery and you can see they've really gone to town inside here really infilled everything so this is look like they must have found something significant there look at the density of drilling inside here this is just a few meters apart okay so let's turn on the aerial imagery and it's coming it's coming and you can see why they've infilled it because they did find a gold mine there and that is what is left well what's with the basically they've taken out and this is their exploring all around it so look for these areas with lots of infill um and but then check that it is not it hasn't been turned into a gold mine already so let's zoom out we're going to look around so there's a couple of places worth straight away down here now this looks like an interesting bit of ground. A lot of infill, a lot of infill. Let's turn on the aerial imagery. No gold mine there. They just couldn't make the numbers hang together. So well worth the visit. Uh, maybe some areas inside, maybe some areas out here or even out here as well. So walk across, you see they even tried out here as well. So there may be something out there. So this is just a quick video. I wanted to show you guys how to use GeoView to find areas to really target in to where you're going to potentially increase your chances significantly of finding gold. If you found this video of any help, please leave a like. I'd love it if you could subscribe and come along on the journey with us. And I hope to see you on the next video. Take care, guys.